Hi friends, this is Bakapa. In the previous API testing tutorial, I have discussed how to create the patch API request and also I have discussed what are the difference between put API request and patch API request and post API request and the patch API request and also I have discussed what are the difference between post API request and put API request and also I have discussed how to verify the JSON schema. In this chapter 6 of AB testing tutorial, I will discuss how to perform the data driven testing using the JSON file. Let's start discussing about how to perform the data driven testing using JSON file in Postman. So we will use the create booking API and uh, where we are passing the first name and last name. So we will pass the first name and last name multiple times for the single scenario and at the end we are getting the response and we are getting here we are getting the first name and last name and after performing the data driven testing also we will verify the first name and last name so let's first discuss how to perform the data driven testing so how to pass the multiple sets of test data to this particular create booking api so we will firstly create the test data file where it contains the first name and last name that is nothing but multiple sets of test data will create create it in the json file so here i will create the text document later we will convert this document into the json file so here i'll write the two brackets inside this i will write the json object so two bracket is nothing but the this is the array of json objects so here we are writing the first json object and inside this we will write the key and value pairs so here i'm specifying the f name as a key and after that I will pass the value as postman and similarly I will copy this key and value and I will create another key value that is all L name that is nothing but last name and I will specify the value as tutorial so that's it and I will specify the comma here and I will save it I will copy the this one set of test data so right now this is a single JSON object. Let's create another two JSON object and we'll pass the different F name and L name. So I'll copy this JSON object and I'll paste it here. So that's it. In the second set of test data, I will specify the F name as that is a first name as API testing. And I'll keep the L name as tutorial only. And in the third set of test data, I'll specify the first name as specflow selenium C sharp. So that's it. So I will select this file and I will select the option as save as. And here I'll select the all files. In that double quotation, I will say test data json dot json so we are saving the this particular file in the format of json and then i will click on save button and it is got save the json file here if you look at on on the type of file it is a json file so that's it so this is all about the creation of the json test data file so let's go to the our postman now and i will select the collection and i will select click on this three dots and i will run the collection so i don't want to run all the api request here i wanted to run only the create booking api and on the right side so here if you look at this one so we have selected only the create booking api that's a first call on the right side the run configurations currently you are seeing the iterations as one so after selecting this particular test data file so here it will be it will be three because we are passing the three sets of test data so let's click on this select file and we will select the test data file what we have created just now so there is a some issue in the test data file let's fix that particular issue i will edit this json file with the notepad plus plus i'll just I'll close it Let me close all the programs now. So let me edit this JSON file with the 
Notepad++ and we'll see what is exactly the issue there. So at the end we have specified the comma, let's remove that comma. So that's it and we'll close this file and let's try to select the same file again. So let me close this particular runner and we will re reopen this uh, run collection runner. I will uncheck all the API requests apart from the create booking API. Then after that I will select the test data file. So that's it, right? So here we have selected the test data JSON dot JSON file. And if you look at this iterations, right? Now it is increased to three because we are passing the three sets of test data into this particular create booking API. So that's it. Make sure that this data file type is application slash JSON. Then after that, you can simply run the booking API. So if you look at this particular past, so this is the first iteration and this is the second iteration and this is the third iteration. So let's look at the request body, what it has sent in, sent in the first iteration, that's the iteration one. So you can click on this request name and you can select the request body. So if you look at this one, so first name is Postman and last name is Florian. So this is the first set of test data what we have passed from the JSON file. And let's look at the iteration two and I will select that request name, API request name and I will select the request body. Second time it is passing the first name as API testing and last name as tutorial, right? And third time it is passing the first name as specflow selenium c -sharp and last name as tutorial. So it is working as expected. So we are able to perform the data driven testing. So this is how we can perform the data driven testing. So let's add the some validations in the test script. So let's go to the our create booking API and we'll go to the tests. So after passing each set of test data, so we are getting the response like this, first name and last name. So we will verify we are getting the first name and last name as expected. When I pass the first name as postman, I should get the first name as postman only and last name as tutorial only, right? So like that. So what I will do, I will go down here and here I will. So firstly, I have to read the variable data which is coming in the this request body, right? So let's read the first name and last name and we'll keep it in the variables. So here I'll use the PM object dot and variables dot get. So inside this you can specify the key name. So in our case key name is f name. So that's it. And I will store this into the variable that is f name. Similarly I will create it for the L name that is the last name. So here I will replace the T as L name and I will edit the this variable name as L name. So that's it. So these two lines will read the test data which is coming from the JSON file and it will store into the F name so that we can verify this F name with the our response first name, right? So we already know how to verify the any JSON response value, right? So you can go on the right side and we can select the response body JSON value check. That's it. So here I will write the test name as verify first name. So that's it. I will take out this line number 24 out of this test method and I'll keep it as a global. So this, this particular JSON data contains the current API response in the form of JSON object, right? Then I will delete this line and after that so here we have to specify the JSON current JSON response value and after that we have to specify the here expected value expected value we have here we are reading it from the our test data file so we'll verify the first name first then I'll keep it here the first name 
and here we have to specify the our api response first name right so if you look at this particular response api response our first name is present inside the booking json object so that's the reason i will specify the booking after the json data dot i'll specify the booking dot first name that's it that's it so similarly i will add another test for the verification of last name and here i'll modify this test name as verify last name then after that here I, here i'll pass the key that is last name and here i'll pass the year name so that's it so these two lines we are using for reading the test data which is coming from the json file and after that by using this json data we are reading the current api response and after that in the line number 25 and in the line number 29 we are validating the first name and the last name so this is how you can write your tests for validating the data driven tests so let's execute this collection once once more so i will exclude all other api request calls i'll keep it only the create booking api so once again we will select the test data file and if you look at the iterations three so currently we have three sets of test data then you can run the booking api and if you look at here so this is the first iteration one that's a in the iteration one and if you look at this one it has verified the first name and the last name and in the iteration two it has verified the first name and last name when we are when we have passed the third set of test data that is iteration three and it is validating the first name and last name, right so everything is getting passed so let's verify let's try to pass the invalid data in the expected value in the expected so i will go to the create booking api once again so here what i will do simply i will hard, hard code the wrong value here for the first name and last name here i'll say test one and test two that's it so in this case three times three sets of test data will be, will be passing to this create booking api and three into two it will be six total six tests should be failing right because first name is not matching with the current api response so once again i will run the collection so i will uncheck other api calls i will keep it only the create booking call, booking api call then i will select the test data file then i will run the booking api so if you look at in this particular tab that is passed is nine and also you can look at here the field in the first time when we when we have passed the first set of test data and it is failing because first name is not matching last name is not matching and in the iteration two also it is not matching with the value that is the first name and last name and if you look at this iteration three also it is not matching with the first name and last name so this is how you can perform the data driven testing and also you can add the assertions by using the javascript